Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from VLamon.com and I am back with another Unity 3D how to video. And in this video, we are going to learn about how to instantiate a prefab. So let's start your Unity editor. In my previous video, I told you how to create a terrain, how to add a skybox. And in this video, we are going to create a prefab for enemy and then we are going to create a spawn point for our enemies for this I want to stop my game and let's create a game object I want a 3d object and I'm going to use a cube okay this is my cube and I want to spawn this cube in my game or I want to instantiate this cube in my game so let me first give a material and I'm going to create a material and let's say enemy give it a red color and apply this to our cube and let's change the cube name to enemy okay our enemy is created so it's time to create a prefab so how to create a prefab prefab and then enemy and let me prefab enemy and then you can drag and drop this but uh, the quick method to create a prefab is just drag and drop this here okay our prefab is created now we have to instantiate this prefab in our game so how to instantiate for this I have to create a script I am going to create my script my in scripts folder create C sharp uh, sorry I don't want to create a JavaScript I want to create a C sharp script and I am going to give uh, this as a spawn enemy spawn please more meaningful that's it and now it's time to open this script inside your mono developer double click to spawn this and now I want to store the prefab which I want to instantiate so I'm going to use public my game object and my game object let's say enemy that's it first we were, first we are going to save our prefab inside this so let's drag and drop Okay, uh, let me for the time being I have to create a empty game object on which we are going to apply this script for this okay uh, I have to create a create empty okay this is perfect where is my game object so let's give it a name spawn point that's it and now we are going to apply this script to this spawn point and now we have to assign our enemy prefab to this go enemy that's it now we have our enemy prefab in our go enemy variable now it's time to instantiate it how to instantiate it for this I am going to create a instantiate enemy function and I am going to call this function in my start okay that's it and inside this function I want to type instantiate and the game object name yeah that's it uh, this line is going to insert uh, this line is going to instantiate your this enemy so it's time to save over game and let's start playing and our player is instantiated now our enemy is in air uh, this is because our enemy not contain any rigid body so let's create a rigid body for our enemy so let's start your uh, stop your game 
click on your enemy prefab available in assessed prefab enemy and I want to add a new component digit body that's it and let's play our game once more great good and now it's time to change the location of our spawn point so let's say you have to spawn your enemy just here okay uh, let's play it again why my enemy is created here actually my spawn point is here this is because this is because the position of your enemy current position of enemy is this so let me show you this is your enemy position and this is the position of spawn point so you have to change the position of your enemy at runtime so how to do this when your game object is instantiated you have to save your game object information so I'm going to save this and let's say game object game object current and I'm going to convert this into a game object that's it now we have our current game object and I want to change the current location of our game object to transform dot position equals to a new vector 3 I want to give the location of X Y and Z I want the position of this object because this script is on our spawn point so I'm going to give this our transform dot position dot X that's it this is done for Y same thing we have to done uh, this is done for X same thing we have to done for Y position and this is for Z that's it give a semicolon and it's time to play our game once more okay now our cube is not here or enemy is not here our enemy is at the perfect location or the right location it's great now if you noticed our script is stop um, by creating one enemy but I don't want this I want to create my enemies in every few seconds so how to achieve this scenario for this you have to call this script in every few seconds okay how to call I'm going to call this instantiate enemy again inside my inst instantiate enemy but it is a loop it is continuously going to create con once it is instantiate then uh, again it is going to instantiate so I want to call this after let's say 10 seconds or 5 seconds so how to achieve this I'm going to create a start I want to instantiate in few seconds so let me first create a enumerator function and I'm going to name it wait for few seconds that's it and I am going to wait for yield return new wait for seconds and I am going to wait for let's say 10.0 seconds that's it and once the 10 second is complete then you have to instantiate this function or you have to call this function that's it and now how to call this 
for this you have to use uh, what is the name I forgot the name start quarantine that's it and now you have to place this inside this and let's start your game once more okay this is our player this is our enemies created and this is the second enemy can I wait for a few seconds more this one is third okay now our spawn point is ready so we are going to place or let me create a prefab of this delete this and we are going to place this in multiple location in my map so this is one this is the second location this is the third location and finally this is the fourth location so let's start you again okay this is our first enemy this one is second this one is the third location of our enemy and finally this one is last I hope you enjoyed this video if you are facing any issue just leave a comment I will try to reply with proper resolution as soon as possible and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in my next video